Hi, and welcome to Retro Eric. In this uh, quick follow-up video number two, we're going to take a look at this new IDE to SATA adapter. We will also be testing out two new hard drives and a new PCI IDE controller. In my uh, previous video about this uh, TCI 233 MHz Pentium, we were using this uh, IDE to SATA adapter to connect our SSD SATA drive to the motherboard controller. What we learned is that this adapter is not very good because it uh, generates micro stuttering. When we try to open stuff, uh, like opening the C drive or menus in Windows 98, it would have these small stuttering effects. And it is probably due to the IC under the sticker here that is not doing a good job. So I ordered a new adapter. As we can see, there's a IDE interface here and it has a power interface and two SATA connectors. And that is one important thing is that this adapter goes both ways. So this uh, connector here besides and on the same side as the power connector is for connecting a SATA hard drive to the adapter. And then this goes to the IDE controller. But if you have an IDE hard drive, you can connect that also to the IDE and then you can use this connector on the other side and then you will get a SATA connector that you can, could uh, connect to your controller or your motherboard. Anyway, we um, will test this. We will also test the PCI IDE and SATA controller that I bought from uh, AliExpress and we will see how that works. As we can see, the speed from uh, the Kingston SSD with the new IDE to SATA adapter is about the same as it was with our first IDE to SATA adapter. Ultra DMA is uh, turned off in the BIOS. If I try to enable Ultra DMA, Windows 98 would not start. So that is exactly the same problem as we had with the first IDE to SATA adapter. There is one thing we can say about this new IDE to SATA adapter, and that is the lags are gone. This feels right. Opening menus like this, if you remember the first uh, IDE to SATA adapter, it was laggy. Everything we did had these small micro lags and it just didn't feel right. But uh, with this uh, SATA adapter, it feels like it should. The only thing I'm dissatisfied with is that we are not able to use Ultra DMA. But except for that, I think that the speed we are achieving here is what the IDE bus on this motherboard is capable to deliver. So now we know that the SATA adapter is working fine with no stuttering, but using an SSD drive in Windows 98 is not a good thing because there is no way to trim the hard drive. So after a while, it uh, the SSD drive will get slower and slower. So then I decided to uh, use a 2.5 inch SATA drive, a mechanical drive instead. So I then installed Windows 98 one more time and did a new speed test. With this mechanical uh, SATA drive, we get about the same speeds as we did with the SSD drive. 
So I guess it's the IDE to SAT adapter, or most likely the IDE controller on the motherboard itself. Let's uh, just do a quick uh, check on how fast things are working. Yes, everything responds as it should. So, exactly the same as with the SSD drive. It responds as it should. And that is uh, because this new IDE to SATA adapter is working properly. I decided to do one more hard drive. So I uh, found a Western Digital 200 mechanical three and a half inch hard drive. And uh, again, installed uh, Windows 98 on that and ran the speed test. The speed did not uh, improve, even though the Ultra DMA uh, worked on this hard drive. The menus are responding as they should, so everything looks okay. So that was the Western Digital 200 gig mechanical hard drive with Ultra DMA on. So without changing the, well, without finding a way to enable Ultra DMA, there is only one thing left uh, to try, I think, and that is to try with a new IDE controller. So I've uh, bought this uh, PCI controller from uh, AliExpress. As we can see, PCI bus, IDE connector, and internal and external SATA connection. We have a cable, a SATA cable, and we also have what I presume is uh, the drivers. I have no idea if these drivers supports Windows 98 or not. So let's uh, just start by uh, inserting the card and see if we can boot from the IDE hard drive we tested earlier. This is the IDE hard drive. I've connected it uh, to the PCI card with a 80 pins cable. Well, uh, it's actually a 40 pin connector but we have a ground between every wire. So that's why it's called a 80 pin connector. And this is rated for Ultra DMA 100, I think, and even more, but we at least need it. Anyway, it doesn't uh, matter if we don't need a 80 pin or 80 wire cable, uh, we can still use it. So now we know that the cable will not be the issue for the speed test. Let us insert the card. What happened now was that uh, this controller that is built in on the motherboard did of course not find the hard drive because it's connected to the PCI card, but it also found the CD driver or the CD drive connected to the motherboard. So what do we do now? I was actually hoping to see a BIOS menu popping up saying press uh, Control R or something to use the new IDE card. But I didn't see anything like that. Let us try to disable the onboard uh, IDE. Let's disable both just to be on the safe side. I'm looking for a menu option to enable an external boot device or something like that. 
this is only the second channel on the onboard controller, I guess. Looks like uh, we will not find a way to boot from the new controller. I have connected the hard drive with the old uh, SATA or IDE to SATA adapter just to boot that from. And I have connected an IDE hard drive to the new PCI IDE controller. And we are now greeted uh, here in Windows 98 with our wizard to add the PCI RAID controller. So let us uh, put the CD in the CD-ROM and see if we can get it to at least uh, recognize and install the drivers for this card. Okay, did not find anything there, but let's uh, try to help it a bit. This is probably for the SATA part of the controller. And this says right, so let's just go to this one. Uh, this is a list of VR chipset, I believe. And none of those numbers are for the chipset that I am using, but um, let's not get discouraged at this time. Um, it says ride, V ride. I have no idea what this is. Um, now there's no drivers there because the OK button is still grayed out. So let's see here. Still no drivers there. Yeah, we got a black OK button. That's a good sign. So let's try to install the V ride driver in the folder with the name of all the chipsets. Okay, let's see if this works. Hmm. Okay, it accepts it, so let's uh, continue. Nice, it now says uh, the VR write controller 3249. Let's uh, continue. Okay, once a restart, let's give it one. As mentioned, we are now booting from the SSD drive connected uh, to the SSD adapter that is connected to the motherboard. And we are trying to see if we can use our IDE controller on the PCI bus, an external card. Maybe it's this one. Maya Busmaster IDE controller. Ah, oh, it also could also be this one, the VR RAID controller. It looks like it installed the driver. Okay. Um, did it find the hard drive? I think it did. I think it's a success. Okay, so we were not able to boot from the disk connected to the PCI IDE card, but we can use it. It's actually great news. Very great news. Uh, let us run our speed test. Wow. I am impressed over the results. The quickest hard drive we measured with the 
onboard IDE controller on the motherboard was 12 megabytes per second with Ultra DMA enabled. And the quickest we got with the IDE to SATA adapter was 10 megabytes per second, and that was without Ultra DMA. But with this PCI IDE controller, we got 52 megabytes per second. That is a lot better. Well, we were not able to boot from the PCI IDE controller. And I'm not surprised about that because uh, I guess this uh, motherboard is just too old to recognize an IDE controller that is not connected on the motherboard. I think this has something to do with the chipsets. Uh, let's actually insert the CD that came with the card and have a look. Maybe there are some readme fields that uh, can uh, explain what is happening. Okay, we use this driver here. So let's go in here. Windows. Da, da, da. It has a readme file. Okay, here we have the readme file for the driver that we used. It's from 2007. And it says that it's a, a VIA ride software package. Uh, so I guess it only works on VIA chipsets. Uh, I'm glad I have a VIA chipset. Um, I think we have a, uh, the chipset we have on our computer is a VIA. 580 VPX. So let's see if it says anything about that. Um, it mentions several chipset here, but not the one that we have. And since this card, or at least the documentation, is from 2007, I'm pretty sure that uh, this card was intended for newer machine than a Pentium 233 megahertz. Yep, these are also the chipset uh, numbers that were on the directory where we installed the VRAID driver. Uh, it actually says that it supports Windows 9X, but one thing is to support it from within Windows 9X, something completely different is supporting it from DOS boot. We still need to remember that uh, Windows 9X is still booting from DOS, or at least on top of DOS. I guess that if we had installed the driver on Windows NT, it would um, probably work because Windows NT loads the disk drivers before it loads the operating system. No, I am just rambling. This uh, wouldn't work because the BIOS doesn't even recognize the disk controller. So I guess we are stuck using it the way we are. We actually need to boot from uh, the hard drive controller on the motherboard, and then we can use the PCI IDE controller. Okay, I've copied the drivers over to my hard drive. Uh, so this is the one we used. Let's uh, have a look at this one. It also has a Windows 98 catalog. Let's see what's in here. This is the driver for the SATA RAID controller. So I guess one, the part, the card is divided into a SATA part and an IDE part. And since Windows has not detected any other missing drivers, 
I guess that that means that Windows 98 has not detected the SATA part of the controller. Yeah, I don't think that the SATA part of the controller will work. Yeah, it says that it should show up in the system properties as a silicon image ultra 130T medley art raid controller but it did not yeah we could of course just try to right click here and press install but i'm pretty sure that it will not help at all since the since windows 98 doesn't have any devices with no drivers so I'm just afraid of messing things up if I try to install this driver. Let's try this uh, last of the three catalogs and have a look in here. And this is also a driver for the SATA host controller. It's called Asmedia SATA controller. And the system requirements are basically Windows XP and newer. Yeah, it actually says that uh, it does not support Windows 98. Okay. Um, I think we'll leave it at this. So to summarize, um, this uh, PCI IDE slash SATA controller, we, it works when we are installing the IDE driver, it uh, shows up in the system properties and as drive D, and it gives us a very decent speed of 52 megabytes per second. So this means that um, I will probably keep two disks in this computer, one for booting Windows 98 and the other one for storing the games. They will be run from the second disk. But keep in mind this uh, second disk will only work in Windows. If I boot to MS-DOS, we will of course not see this second disk. We'll, we'll actually give that a try, but <laughs> that should not work at all. But um, here from uh, Windows, of course, the second disk will work. Yep, there we are. The D drive works fine. Okay, back to Windows. Let's restart in MS-DOS mode. We are in DOS. I'm running FDisk just to see if we can see the disk number two. And we cannot. As expected, without a driver, it's impossible for us to access the D drive. Okay, so uh, we have now tested uh, this uh, PCI uh, to IDE slash SATA card. And we know that uh, it does not work in DOS, but we know that it's uh, working as a uh, second drive in Windows. We also know that uh, there's no way to boot from this, at least on this motherboard. Well, I hope you liked this uh, video where I tested different uh, drives and different uh, adapters to connect SATA drives and uh, IDE drives to get the most of this Pentium 133 megahertz Windows 98 machine. As always, I am very glad that uh, you're watching my videos. If you um, want to support me, please uh, 
press like and also subscribe to my channel.